super soaker, baby, drown inside my ocean And my t-shirt and my panties, and he still gon' feel the motion Bend it over like the view, he wanna fuck, but I'm not with it If he give me all this money, I consider having kids Love the way my booty jiggle, bitch, is pretty serving What the fuck is going, YouTube? It's your girl, Blue Murder, and we are back with another video don't pay no attention to my nails. I'm going to get them done soon. But first, before we do anything, I have this little candle right here. Um, I just want to light this candle. Because um, I know it's going to be some people who are going to try to make me feel less than myself. About my hair, my edges, something. Somebody going to have something to say. You feel me? Probably about my titties. I ain't no seller, but somebody going to have something to say. And this candle is just for me to just pray for y'all. And I just feel like, fuck you. So now that that's through, um, I just said I'm going to just go ahead and drop this video today because every time when I go live on my Instagram, I get somebody and they be like, why? Like, when you coming back? Why you still haven't, you feel me? When you going to get back on YouTube? So I'm like, okay, cool. So boom. I'm going to tell y'all, this video right here is how, I'm going to tell y'all how to let go of, uh, what you call it? Fuck nickel. Now, um, me personally, y'all, the way that I am, like, and if y'all been watching me, like, for a while, y'all know. I am really, really loving and caring, but then I can also be fuck you. Now, even though I can, I can mess with somebody really, really strong and still, you feel me, let you go if you're, you or you don't have my best interest. Oh my God, I feel like my hair mess, but fuck you. So I, if I feel like you don't got my best interest or whatever. So um, I was messing with this boy. And to be honest, like, I don't know what i was going through at the time for me to be messing with the boy but i'm messing with the dude i ended up meeting him i ended up meeting this boy and like i had linked up with him and we were supposed to go do something i forgot exactly what we were gonna do but we were finna go like link out to do something he had that ended up i had that seen his i don't want to get into too much detail but i'm gonna just tell y'all so i like kind of felt bad for his daughter because like when i seen him I'm like you feel me like he doing this all by himself so and you know i do a lot of stuff like i do hair and stuff like that so i just decided to do her hair then you feel me like i ended up like growing to like actually like these people and long story short okay boom from the jump the nigga was trying to move me in and i'm just like one thing about me i would never move in with no nigga and i tell every nigga that like every time when a nigga tell me like Oh, you should move in with me or whatever. I just left that shit off. Like, no, baby, I'm not moving in with you. Like, I don't have time to be fighting no nigga. I don't have time to... I really just don't have the patience. You feel me? Like, niggas can be sometimes, like, ignorant. Like, really, really ignorant and dumb. You feel me? And I don't want to put myself in a position to get in no trouble behind a nigga that probably don't give a fuck about me or the bitch who he messing with, you feel me? Or the other bitch, cause I'm always top bitch. But anyways, um, long story short, okay, boom. When I first met the dude, like he was trying to move me in and stuff. Like he was just saying, you might as well just come over here, da 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 this and that. Cause I was like really just like confiding in him because you know, I was mad with my sisters and stuff like that. And I wasn't talking to them. And, like, even then, like, when I was going through that relationship with that nigga, like, everything that I was going through, my sisters, them, they didn't know nothing because I wasn't talking to them. But, like, you know, I eventually had to end up talking to them because that boy was driving me crazy. Like, and I'm going to tell y'all. So, okay, boom. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward there until when stuff started messing up. Now, period, point blank, he's a Gemini. And my sister was trying to warn me about Gemini men, like, I was telling her about him. She was like, girl, you better be careful with that. You know what they say about that Gemini, da 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 So I'm like, I don't know. Like, I like him or whatever. So, um, long story short, you feel me? In the beginning, I ain't even gonna cap. Like, we was best friends. We was close as fuck. Hold on. So in the beginning, like, we was close as fuck. I'm not even gonna cap up down. 
and trying to make it seem like that we wasn't like we was closest freak. But long story short, okay, things started getting hard for him, but shit wasn't getting hard for me because he didn't know what I had going on, one. And um, I'm not going to never be broke, you feel me? So when shit started getting bad for him, I kind of like didn't know what the fuck was going on, but I sensed the energy. Like, I didn't know that, you feel me, shit was falling apart for him, but I know like something was wrong because the dude started acting different. Okay. When I get close to my period, like, the every female know once you get, like, within, like, when your period about to come on within, like, two days or a day or whatever, your hormones start kicking in and you feel me? Like, every little thing irritates you. He used to just bug me. Like, for example, I was washing my hair one time. No, he was telling me I, I had done, he was trying to take my, pull my wig off or whatever, and then he seen the glue, and he like, you need to wash your hair. And I'm like, um, this is just glue, but I ended up still going home and washing my hair. So I went, so, um, he, I hadn't got back. He was like, dang, your hair look good. And I was like, thank you. I, like, I had, uh, washed it and reinstalled it. And he was like, no, you didn't. I was like, yes, I did. I was like, I washed it. You feel me? But I ain't put no heat in it. He like, you supposed to put heat in your hair. And then it's like, you trying to argue with me. I'm the female. Like, you feel me? So, okay. Long story short. Boom. Once my period started, like, getting closer and closer, he started, like, irritating me more and more. And, like, um, he started just really testing me. So, okay, I was, like, about ready to go home. So, I ended up, like, going to my sister's house, like, for a while while I was on my period. And I was away from him for a little minute. And um, when I came, like, when I was away from him, like, we was, I, I feel like we were good. But then when I hadn't got that, like, I had done found out that the nigga had done lost his... No, no, no. Okay, before then, even in the, in the beginning when he was asking me, can I move in with him and stuff like that, I didn't, like, I wasn't trying to move in with him. And I told him, I'm like, I'm, I can't move in with you because, um, you feel me? I don't want to ever move in with a nigga. I don't want no nigga thinking he ran nothing. You feel me? I'm just letting him know straight off the bat. He like, you know, he understand or whatever, which I'm not understanding, though. Like, why he trying to get me to move in with him so quickly? And we just started messing with each other. So, um, he, that should have been a red flag, um, for me to get the fuck away. But, um, you know me, you feel me, you think you, you feel me, you grow attached to somebody and you just keep, you feel me, messing with them. So, long story short, okay, boom. Um, me and him started getting into it, like, really, really bad. Like, once my period got off, or I don't know, like, if, but long story short, me and him started getting into it real, real bad because, like, he just kept constantly coming for me and shit like that. And then I hate, like... When people try to make a scene in front of people. Like, one thing about it, I always have money. He always tried to make a scene, like, a big deal out of everything. Like, one thing about it, anything that I was doing, I was sending, like, like if I needed money from him, I would sell him the money. And then um, he would, you feel me, do it or go about it however way he go about it. So, long story short, okay, one time, this one, everything started going downhill. I was finna cook for him one day, and uh, he was just saying, I didn't, he, would, he was saying he wanted, or no, I just said I was gonna cook for them one day, so I decided to cook, I'm like, let's go to the store, da 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 this and that, so uh, he had that ended up taking me, he ended up taking me to the store, and then he like, I'm finna drop y'all off right here, and he was talking about me and his daughter, and I'm like, what the fuck, like, first of all, you need to come in, and um, and then, like, I really had an attitude because it's just, like, why is you, like, making me get out the car with your daughter, you feel me, when you know I got to go, go grocery shopping the fuck? You finna send the car probably, I think that nigga smoked cigarettes. Yeah, but he probably was finna smoke a cigarette, and I'm like, what the fuck? Like, you feel me? So they just irritated the fuck out of me. Like, you want me walking around the store with your fucking daughter while you in the car just chilling, you feel me? So I'm like, no. So, uh, I already got an attitude, so I get out the car with her, and I'm chilling. So, when it's time for us, me to pay, and I need him to come in, he confused on, like, what the fuck going on, which I was going to sell him the money regardless. He was going to, I was going to pay for it, even though I'm cooking for you and putting food in your motherfucking house. I was paying for it, you feel me? He was acting like he didn't want to come in or whatever. So, I got back in the car, I said, fuck you, we went back to the house, um, to his house. So, then, um, shit started going left from there, and then... Um, I went over there and I tried, and then we tried to cook, I tried to cook again. So this particular time we all got out and we went in the store or whatever. So he already knew I was going to sell. This nigga knew I didn't have a card when I first started messing with him because I had just lost my card. So I was selling him my money 
and you feel me, he was getting it for me, or you feel me, going to Family Dollar, or doing whatever I needed him to do, so, um, he was like, uh, once we had then got to the checkout, after I had then got finished grocery shopping or whatever, I was like, use your car, he was like, he was like, um, uh, you trying to make a fucking scene, like, oh, you over here, da 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 this and that, coming in here, doing this and that, and you ain't, and I'm like, boy, I was, I was going to zail you the money, like, you're doing too fucking much, you need to calm the fuck down, like, I hate when niggas, like, make scenes, you feel me? Don't make no scene, nigga. Wait till we get in the car at least. Like, don't ever try to do no shit like that. Because now I'm feeling like you broke. And now I'm feeling like I made a mistake. Like, messing with you. Like, and not even, you feel me? Oh, no. Like, so diddy shit. But for real, for real. Like, don't ever pull no shit like that. Because, nigga, you know I got money. Period. If I had my car, bitch, I would have came here by my damn self. You ain't your child could have stayed in the car. The fuck? I don't. Like, and that's what I'm saying. Niggas really will take you there for real, for real. So, okay, long story short. Boom. After that, a little after that, and when I said I'm going to go take his daughter and my nephew, I mean, no, I just said I'm going to take his daughter swimming. So then a little after that, I came back and I said I'm going to take my nephew swimming. And he got a lot of animosity for my, like, towards my nephew. Like, anytime my nephew around or whatever, like, he always got some smart to say, you feel me? And I'm not with that. Like, I'm really protective over my people and my nephew, he not, he not even old enough to really like say what the fuck he really want to say. So I'm like, uh-uh, like, you know, I'm always defend my people, especially if his mama not around or his people not around. So, um, I ended up like going to go take, I was finished. So when I tell, told him that I was going to go get my nephew or whatever too, he didn't text me back. So I was still on the way to go get my nephew and I called him and I'm like, what's up? Like, is it a problem with me getting my nephew? Like, you was texting me back when I was saying I was taking your daughter swimming. Now that I'm saying I'm taking Aiden swimming, it's like it's a problem. You ain't responded. He like, oh, you know, that's not a problem. Da, 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 this, and that. I'm work I was working, da, 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 this, and that. And I'm like, okay, cool. So once my nephew get, like, to his house or whatever, when we get back, I'm really just keeping my nephew trailer behind me because I don't want a nigga to be able to say my nephew did anything, like, nothing because i'm making sure that i'm watching mine like you ain't even finna be able to say nothing about him so long story short okay the way that i i nurture my nephew my nephew ain't finna be just like he ain't finna be just this hardcore you feel me little boy i i i sing to him when he go to sleep i play him rain you feel me i hold my nephew the fuck i don't you feel me just be trying to just brush him off you feel me all that rough shit all the time like you feel me I, I nurture my nephew. I show love to my nephew. So, he be like, oh, you need to stop babying him, which my nephew is too, not to mention. Oh, you need to stop babying him, da 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 this and that. So, long story short, okay, boom. I was, um, he had done lost his car, which, not to mention, I helped him get, like, I was one of the first people who gave him some money to put towards his car. All his family wouldn't do nothing for him. I gave him the money to, um, put towards his car. So, in the midst of all of that going on, um, he had that, um, came home, and me and him had already gotten into it. Like, he was saying, like, some really, really hurtful stuff to me. And, um, I was just laying down with my nephew, and we were finna lay down. Because I was like, I was finna leave in the morning. Like, I was finna dip. So, um, after that, like, we got into it real, real bad. And he was just saying, like, I'm just a babysitter for my fucking sister, which, this is my nephew. I helped raise my nephew, so this is basically my fucking child, too. Like, don't don't ever disrespect me. I felt like I, I got a lot of disrespect from that nigga. Like out of all the shit I was doing, you feel me? And you feel me? You 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 feel me? You don't do people like that. So long story short, okay, boom. Okay. Going towards the end of the relationship, I ended up leaving. I was just saying, fuck it. I said I I got really, really tired, like, of that boy, like, kinda like down in me. Like, anytime anything would rap, he would like laugh about you feel me like clown and i'm telling you i'm taking it serious like and you taking me as a joke you feel me and that shit like is really hurtful and you it was like i grew to love the nigga you feel me so it just like it was just really just a slap in the face and it just like damn like brie you fucked up again this is another like lame nigga that you could have just avoided you feel me so i ended up i'm not gonna get my shit together i ended up going home i applied for me a new apartment and um I just said I'm finna get my life together, but I left some stuff in his house. I had to beg him to give me some stuff, get my stuff from his house. And then, like, um, when he was begging me to come back, like, oh, please, like, I promise I'm gonna make it up to you. I'm gonna make it up to you. That boy didn't make up nothing. Like, I swear, like, 
he didn't do nothing. I told him that. He was like, what you want me to do? Like, what did you want me to do? Nigga, you said you want to make it up to me. I should have to tell you what you should do for me. I should have to tell you how you should make it up to me. You should just be able to do it out of your heart. You should just understand that you wrong for a lot of the shit that you did. And then just come up with a plan from there. Like, I don't understand. So, long story short, like I said, he was holding on to my stuff. So, I went back over there and got my stuff. So... At, like going towards the end and um i had went over there to get my mirror and some more stuff and then um i went home that was when he was telling me he was gonna make it up to me so i was saying i wasn't gonna ever see that nigga again i blocked him i did all of that so he was texting me from fake numbers and shit like he's sorry please unblock me and shit like that um the last time when i went over there i left my id in his car um I left my ID in his car. So the last time I went over there, he was telling me, like, I was out, I was getting my nails done and stuff like that. He was like, you out here getting your nails done and stuff like that. And you not making sure your nigga straight. I haven't ate. I haven't done this. I haven't done that. So you feel me? You're a grown ass man. Mind you, he's like 23 years old. I'm fucking 19. You feel me? Like, you want me to be taking care of you when you haven't done shit for me? Like, I was getting that boy haircuts. Like, you feel me? I was doing everything. I was doing a lot of shit for that nigga that a lot of females like would be like, bitch, you dumb as fuck. You feel me for doing what I was doing, you feel me? Because I fucked with that nigga, but it was just like I was doing all of that shit. And then, um, like, still in the end, I had, like, a heart to pull up and give, like, that nigga some money. So, he was basically saying, like, he don't have anything. Like, he want me to, um, pull up and, um... He was like, he don't have no money. So I'm like, okay, cool. I'm going to pull up. I'm going to get some money. Da, 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 this, and that. So I pulled up on the nigga uh, to get my ID. And uh, I got my ID. And we went to go get something to eat. And I gave him some money. And no, we went, no, we went to the Family Dollar. And then uh, I went to go get some money out the bank. I mean, I, the family, I got some cash back from family dollar. Then I went to go pay for both of us something to eat. So, boom, this way, everything started going left. Um, we, once we pull out or whatever, he go to, we eat our food or whatever. And then, like, he pull out and I sit up my drink in the cup holder. And once he pull out, it spilled. Mind you, this is a black car. You feel me? What carpet? But still, either way it go, you feel me? It spilled and I understand it. And it was like. I ended up getting the car washed. You feel me? So this, my whole thing is, and not just getting the car washed on the the out the inside. I got the car washed on the outside. You feel me? Not just on the side that I spilled the juice. The whole entire car was cleaned out from the inside and the outside. You feel me? So okay, boom. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm gonna pull up. We gonna go to the car wash or whatever. So I pay for you to go to the car wash. So um, long story short, I had ended up um. He ended up, like, taking everything out the car, you feel me, cleaning it a little bit before we got to the car wash. And he took my weed out the car that I had done, just bought, and left it. And we was on Camerton Road. And if y'all from Atlanta, y'all know Camerton Road be busy as fuck. People be walking up and down Apple Tree all, um, you feel me, all the time. You feel me? So, um, I'm like... I'm, but I'm not noticing that you feel my weed there. I'm not knowing. I'm thinking maybe he took it in the house, and I'm not thinking so. Okay, boom. Once we get to the car wash or whatever, um, you feel me? We washing the he getting the car wash or whatever. And mind you, I wasn't even supposed to pay for the car wash, but I ended up doing it, um, because you feel me, um, they couldn't let me do it through Apple Pay on the outside. So he was just like, you go in. He was gonna go through the car wash, and then he'll meet me on the other side. So I'm like, okay, cool. So. We go in the, I go in the car wash, I pay or whatever and do what the fuck I do or whatever. And then, um, I come out and like this nigga like playing, like he's sucking up my hair with a vacuum cleaner and, you know, doing a whole bunch of playing. Then he go to say, oh my God, I left your weed on the green box. So I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, you need to hurry up. Like we need to uh, hurry up and get, you feel me? I'm like, we need to hurry up and go back and get it. And he was like, oh, um, you feel me still playing, sucking on my hair with the vacuum cleaner and stuff like that. So you feel me? I'm a little irritated, but I'm like, I'm going to keep calm because it's just a weed. Which, it was like $100 worth of weed. $100 a zip of weed. You feel me? So I'm like, I'm really irritated, but I'm like, I'm going to keep my composure. You feel me? Because it ain't that serious. So, um, 
he was playing or whatever. So once he finally get done, I lock him out the car, which I didn't lock him out the car for not even 10 seconds. He start making a fucking scene, blowing the fuck up. So I hurry up and unlock the door, not because I'm scared and then like that. Oh God, it was just, you're making a scene. And I know some people here, like, don't fucking do that. Like, that's embarrassing. Like, so uh, he going to make a scene. So I let him in the car or whatever. So he go to going off like, I hate um fucking with y'all little childish ass little hoes, you know, da 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 this and that, just going up on me or whatever. And I'm like, I don't understand. Like you just sucking up my hair in this nasty ass vacuum cleaner, but now I'm a childish ass bitch for lock you lock you out the car. No um more than what twenty seconds. You went out the car for no more than twenty seconds. So he started going up. So his brother from jail started calling. He still so uh he answering the call. You know, still going on his rampage. He fucking around and called me a bitch. I said. Boy, fuck you and your brother, the fuck? He talking about, oh, you was a, he was like, I'm gonna call you back. He talking about, oh, you was a disrespectful ass. No, he said, oh, you was a disrespectful He was like, bro, I'm gonna call you back. He, or I don't know if he said I'm a disrespectful ass bitch. Um, why his brother was on the phone. He was like, you was a disrespectful ass bitch. Um, he was like, you ain't, um, he was like, um, I'm gonna get me a white hoe, da 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 this and that. I'm like, boy, I will punch you in your face. He was like, ugly ass bitch. Don't, um, he was like, I will beat the fuck. He was like, I will punch you dead in your motherfucking face. And I swear to God, y'all, that time right there, I never, I, I didn't have abusive relationships. I didn't have, like, all type of crazy shit happen. You feel me? But this nigga right here, like, I had to tell him about himself for real, for real. Like, I have been biting my tongue from this dude for so long. Like, I had to tell him, really, like, your house fucking stink. You feel me? I've been putting up with all this shit. I've been putting up with your shit because I love you. You feel me? But I don't have to but fucking be here. I have my own house. You feel me? I've been had my own house. I didn't have to be here from the beginning. I wouldn't even been here if it wouldn't have been for you begging here me to be here. Your life is crumbling apart. You losing everything that you fucking own. You feel me? You need my help. You feel me? You scared the ass. I offered it. You didn't want to take it. But then, you feel me? You want to come back? Like, no, that's not how that works. So, he blowing up. Y'all, I had to call my mama to calm me the fuck down. I was shaking. I would have killed both of us. I was going to crash that fucking car. Oh, God. Like, I don't, I don't even get down like that. But it's just like niggas like that. You got to, like, really watch out for it because I swear to God, I think I had an anxiety attack. I had to tell, call my mama on the phone. I'm like, mama, just talk to me. I'm crying hard as fuck. And he, like, really just fucking with me while I'm on the phone with my mama. Like, oh, um, you, um, you just a, um, you a fucking, um, baby. The fuck? You got to call your mama, da 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 this and that. But I don't give a fuck, bitch. I'm going to call my mama because if I don't call my mama, if my mama don't remain on this motherfucking phone, me and you going to be on the motherfucking news today. A double motherfucking homicide. Suicide. One homicide and one suicide. Whatever the fuck you want to call it. But I'm dead ass because, like, no, like, for real, for real. Like, I feel like us as women, like, give too much to, like, niggas, like, men you feel me as a whole just to get like done dirty called out our names you feel me like make us you feel me y'all don't have to make us feel less than ourselves at all like you feel me and nine times out of ten like anytime where anytime i ever felt insecure it was at the hands of a nigga like and that's crazy as fuck like i don't I, I could care less about what females say about me it's more of you we really care about what y'all say about it. It's like, you feel me? Niggas are supposed to, like, bring us up. You feel me? Like, lift us. Y'all not supposed to be making us feel like, you feel me? Just like my best friend would say, a piece of shit. Like, y'all not supposed to make us feel like that. And it's like, I don't want nobody around me who made me feel like that. So, what I would say is, if anybody ever was in a situation like this, leave. Like, leave and that's what i had to do when i tell y'all the first time when i started noticing those red flags my mom was telling me don't move in with him everybody was telling me don't move in with him don't move in with him and i'm glad like i followed my own like not just them telling me but my own self i'm glad that i told myself don't move in with that nigga because i swear like he was doing like i i felt like Either he would have killed me or I would have killed him, honestly, because, like, I promise you, sometimes we'll be wrestling, he'll fuck around and, like, 
have me in a position and holding me and I'm telling him I can't breathe, I can't breathe, and he'll stay like that was the most like I don't know. I just felt like the devil was really traumatizing. And my mama kept, was telling me like that day on the phone, like when I had, when I was going through that during that car wash day, she was telling me, she was like, you need to get out of that situation. She was like, I don't like that energy. She was like something. She was like, if, if I don't get out of it, you feel me? Like my mama sensed the same thing that I was thinking like, and I'm not with that. Like you feel me? I, I feel like I'm happy with myself. If you're not coming around me to try to make me feel better about myself to you feel me any you feel me to help me you feel me ignore my flaws please 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 stay from around me because i'm not one of them i promise you i will shut you the fuck down i promise you like my daddy my daddy told me i'm not just for any nigga i'm not just for any man you feel me you got to really really like Baby, you got to go above and beyond for me. Because I go above and beyond for others who don't do a damn thing for me all the time. You feel me? And just like him, he didn't do nothing for me. Never got my hair done. Never got my nails done. Never, you feel me? Never did nothing I wanted to do. We ain't never, like, did nothing. Like, because he was too busy, like, I guess struggling. And they didn't have anything to do with me. Because, like I said, when somebody offer and you decline, don't be upset. When you miss out on that opportunity. But um, like I said. If y'all ever get in that situation. Then leave. Get that bread. Get that head. Then leave. Okay. I love y'all so much. Excuse my hair. I wish I would have like. Got ready ready. But it's just like I had to give y'all a video. Next time I'm going to be looking better. I love y'all so much. And I'm going to be back with more videos. Murder game, murder game, murder game. Let's get it.